Hi guys, Charlotte from Not To Show by Charlotte here. I'm your Nottingham Fusion Mineral Paint Stockist and welcome to video three of my colour series walking you through the range of Fusion Mineral Paints. So video one, which you can find on my page on my website, was walking you through the whites, the creams and the browns. Video two was walking through our shades of grey all the way through to black. And video three, we're talking blue. So... Before we move on to walking through each individual shade and the different characteristics, undertones, um, colours it works with, that kind of thing, uh, I'll just show you there are a few other ways that you can um, that Fusion help you choose your colour. So as well as popping into your local stockist to discuss with your stockist, giving them a call, asking for their advice, you can purchase a colour card, which is only two ninety nine, and it has got every single colour on it. It's true to colour, so this shows you exactly the colour and finish that your paint will dry to. It's got loads of tips, and helpful information on it, so that's well worth two ninety nine. You could also get a test pot, which is four seventy five, and that is just great for you to do a small project at home. Um, sometimes I call them a project pot because you can do. I've painted a chair in one of these pots. You can do, do photo frame plant pots whatever you fancy, but you could also um, just paint a little swatch so you can see how it reacts, how well it matches um, other fabrics and things, home furnishings that you've got and how it works in the light of your room. And then we've got the 500ml pots which are when you decide on what colour you want to go with, you can just open it up and let the painting come begin. So, oh and then also I should mention we've got these fan decks which are, I've put a hell of a lot here because I've separated off my blues. But we've got these fan decks which are 19 99 and are great for professional painters for you to take into consultations and they're just great for sort of spinning around and seeing which colours go together, how colours work together. Um, they're just great for helping you figure out colour schemes. So let's walk through the blues. So I'm going to start with the pale and work through to the dark shades. Let's start with the two palest colours. Something about me, I like to work this way. Do, do, do. <laughs> if I can do it. What am I doing? Okay, so start with the two palest colours. We've got Little Teapot and Little Whale. These were originally from our Tones to Tots, Tones for Tots range, which is why they're called Little Teapot and Little Whale. They're after, uh, named after nursery rhyme. Little Teapot, you can see, is a very pale turquoise colour, so it's very fresh. It's going to lift your colour scheme. Um, it's quite bright. It's going to... Be cheerful and energising and that kind of thing. Whereas Little Whale, you can see, is a little bit more greyed off and has got more of a lavender sort of tint to it. So it's softer and more relaxing. Um, so there are two palest blues. And then we start to move on to the mid-tone blues. So let's start with French eggshell. So French eggshell will also appear in my video on greens because when you put it next to all these blues, it looks blue. But as if by magic, when you watch my green video, you'll see that when it's surrounded by greens, it's very happy in a green colour scheme as well. Because it's um, it's called French eggshell because it's Fusion's version of a duck egg shade. But it's a really sophisticated French version of that, which is not a fashion colour, it's just timeless. So French eggshell is great if you want some sort of a bluey green. Then where should we go next? Let's go... Champ Ness and Heirloom. I think I should talk you through those together because sometimes people struggle picking between the two. So, I don't know if the camera's picking this up particularly well. Let's bring the edge, French eggshell back. You can see that Heirloom is like a darker toned version of the French eggshell. It's a lovely sort of blue-green. It's very um, rich um, and luscious shade that, again, I think would look quite happy in a green or a blue colour scheme. Whereas when we move on to Champness, so let me make sure I'm not confusing you, we've got French eggshell, heirloom and Champness. Champness is more of a china blue shade, it's um, a bit fresher, it says on the back, it's inspired by both sea and sky. Um, saturated enough to make a statement, yet wonderful calming qualities to it. Well there you go, whereas heirloom is, um, I guess the name inspires that it's sort of a heritage shade, it would fit in more traditional colour schemes and Champness is that little bit fresher. Let's move on. What do we have next? Where should we go? Let's next move on to these two, which again are um, quite similar. They're kind of a step up from 
and then in shampness we're moving on to the much more fully saturated so these two colors they start to have a lot more pigment in them they're a lot deeper seaside is my absolute fave i'm a teal girl at heart this is the color of the front door at the studio if you come to visit us at the old baptist church in elkiston um beautiful beautiful shade and then you'll see that homestead blue it's just a little bit darker um, a little bit less fresh a little bit richer a little bit more leaning towards sort of the greys and yeah in reality i'm just looking behind them because i've got samples of these to try and think of what words to use to explain to you they're um, they're not a million miles apart just seaside is more relevant to the sea whereas homestead blue a little bit softer now let's talk about some vibrant blues so wow these are colors not for the faint-hearted azure is i like to put it next to a little teapot so azure is um a proper rich turquoise so it's very much sort of like tiffany blue um like like turquoise gems it's just luxurious rich it really makes a statement it looks you know if you want to have a vibrant color scheme that really pops it looks amazing next to coral they're really um bright and vibrant so there is azure and then you've got renfrew blue which is this color is bold radiant and an impactful hue teal in tone our beloved renfrew blue adds personality and style that's one of those colors that you're just sort of naturally drawn to it's bright it's vibrant and um, it draws your attention so i would say with renfrew blue just so that you prepare with it being such a bright color and not having you can see that azure when you put azure next to it you can see that that has a white pigment in it. It's got white white base to it, which means that it covers sensationally. Whereas Renfrew Blue, because it is such a vibrant, bright colour, just be prepared that you're going to need an extra coat to get that kind of colour. Don't be disappointed when your first coat doesn't cover as well as something like Ash. It won't do. You won't do anything wrong. Um, it'll take you an extra coat, but it is so worth it. It's a luscious colour. Then let's move on to the last two blues. So we've got Liberty Blue, this one here, sorry, Mitch. Liberty Blue is a proper, bright, fresh, sort of school navy kind of blue. Um, great in coastal sort of colour schemes, great with... Oh, I can't find them. Where's it gone? It escaped me. There we go, like imagine... Um, like a proper seaside scheme, those two with red, or in your kids' bedroom, you want those sort of primaries and nice, bright, enticing colours. Liberty Blue is great for that. And then let's move on to last but not least, Lip, um, Midnight Blue. This is our second best seller. Ash is our top seller. Midnight Blue is only, second only, um, just that. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade deep in a lot of lights it looks almost black but then as the light catches it it looks blue it's just rich sumptuous luxurious elegant it brings um, your mid-century modern pieces right up to date it is a gorgeous gorgeous blue so do -do -do, let me spin those around for you and um yeah so that is a great range of blues but let's also um be honest and say there isn't every like Look at the colour wheel there's millions and millions of colours we can't have every colour in the range so if you look at the colour wheel you'll say that this section at the back sorry not the colour wheel the fusion fan deck this section at the back has all recipes which are really really easy to mix they are either a 50 50 mix one part of one colour with one part of another colour or they are a full size pot with a tester and to tint it how easy is that they're easy recipes no faffing about um, so if you wanted a slightly different blue, you could either follow one of these recipes or create your own. Lots and lots of options. So that's me walking you through the blues. If you want help matching a colour, just um, drop me a note, PM, give me a call and I'll help you out. Thank you, bye.